Hi guys, so Davido, who is arguably Nigeria's top musician, is currently trending for his involvement in an alleged crypto scam. So I want to give you guys an insight into this topic, not just on Davido, but on cryptocurrency scams in general. I came across this video online that explains the situation. This is really getting out of hand right now. This influencer with over 30 million followers on Instagram just launched his very own Solana meme coin and it's absolutely crashing right now for a really wrong reason yes this is actually true this guy called davido launched his very own solana meme coin and look at how many followers he has he also posted the coin on the story meaning he is not hacked and that he actually made the coin himself however the reason why the chart is looking so bad is because davido literally sold his own token more than four hundred seventy thousand dollars he sold in literally the last 11 hours and he still has two hundred thousand dollars left to be sold. This literally means that this is a clear scam and in my opinion he should just simply go to jail. So allegedly what Davido did is called a pump and dump scheme. It's not the first time this has been done, it's just that a lot of the times it has been trending in foreign countries, western countries, more specifically America. A lot of foreign celebrities have done this in the past. Some of them include Logan Paul, I Show Speed, KSI, you know, popular influencers, Soldier Boy, who is of course another musician, among others. These are just to mention a few. So how this works is that these influencers and entertainers, you know, they usually have a lot of online following. So what they go ahead and do is they launch a cryptocurrency coin and influence people that are following them to go and buy these coins, you know, with the promise that, of course, the coin's value is going to climb, it's going to go very high and it's going to be a good investment for them to be involved in. But what their followers don't usually know is that usually a lot of these influencers have pre-bought a lot of the coins on the platform. By the time they get people to start buying or start investing in this coin, when the value goes high then they immediately start selling you know the coins that they pre-bought for lower price and then they make a whole lot of profits i don't know is profit the right word to use now the scam here being that they are using their influence to deceive their followers into buying these coins just so that they can make a profit and do what they call a rug pull you know like when they pull the rug from <laughs> under your leg without you knowing and actually i've been following this phenomenon for a while um i even talked about it in a previous video i follow this guy called coffeezilla who is a kind of experts on a lot of these cryptocurrency scams and i'm even surprised he hasn't put out a video on this you probably will very soon on davido particularly now according to the video i showed davido has already made almost five hundred thousand dollars from this crypto scam which is that's <laughs> that's amazing and i also want to say that cryptocurrency scams they are not actually seen as illegal i'm sure this is a controversial take it's definitely morally and ethically wrong but at the end of the day they are not forcing anybody to buy these coins like these guys are willingly buying the coins. so the issue now is more of the um cajoling parts you know deceiving people into buying these coins who probably were looking at it as a form of investment and because of their love for the entertainer influence and they buy these things and they end up getting scammed and the topic of crypto is one that is very interesting to me i've been following it a lot because initially when cryptocurrency started to blow the idea was that this is an alternative form of currency that in the future everybody will be using crypto as digital money and the current physical money paper money which they call fiat would go out of style like basically a lot of people felt that government interference in the current currency system was affecting their own value like affecting the value of the money they have you know how like especially in nigeria you know tinubu can come up with a policy one day that causes um, naira to drop and it ends up affecting you know your own um, currency and your own spending power and all that so people saw crypto as an alternative because crypto is decentralized and what that means is that what determines the value of crypto is supposed to be solely supply and demand that's if people 
want this coin the value of the coin go up if people don't want it if people are selling it and the value goes down like basically just like a form of the stock market and cryptocurrency became so popular that even some countries started to adopt it as a form of currency i know a country called el salvador they adopted bitcoin as a part of currency and even elon musk adopted bitcoin at some point like he was a very big proponent of cryptocurrency and then after a while he stops i think he said bitcoin was kind of bad for the environment so he stopped promoting it this was even prior to his acquisition of twitter so he doesn't really talk about it as much now crypto was arguably at the peak of his popularity during the pandemic because at that time a lot of currency was affected economies were affected um, Nigeria's economy especially was affected by the pandemic and you know the value of the naira fell as it was falling the value of crypto was going up like the top coins like bitcoin ethereum they were going up a lot of people bought crypto into kind of store the value of their money so as inflation was going up crypto was also going up and people were buying into it and i remember that time while um, buhari was still in power he clamped down on crypto a lot of crypto platforms he cut them off from you know nigeria investing that was the first pushback that we saw then and more recently there has been ultimate government interference against crypto by tinubu nigeria even went to the extent of abducting two Binance employees as in effectively they were taken against their own will just because of this crypto issue and the Binance CEO came out explained his own side of the story and kind of said that you know he was not at fault in all of this and even came out to say that some unnamed persons came out and asked for a bribe you know for Binance problems to go away but as of now Binance and Nigeria they've severed ties another offshoot of crypto was the NFTs the non-fungible tokens which are like kind of uh, how do I put it they are digital property that you can buy online you know like you will be seen as the legitimate owner of something in the digital world if you buy an NFT and honestly i was thinking that that was kind of the route a lot of these entertainers would go like because i've seen in the past some artists have sold their albums as nfts it's still an emerging kind of value exchange because like owning an image electronically doesn't mean that everybody doesn't have access to it and at that time Davido is the last person I would have thought that would have started this kind of crypto uh, schemes. Like then I was thinking people like Aki and Popo would key into this thing because their images were going viral online then. I thought maybe they would like want to come out with an NFT. They would have made a lot of money. But then with this current Davido trending issue with crypto, what i wonder is will he actually get into trouble because of this because nigerian government apparently they have an all-out war against crypto i'm wondering if the video is going to be caught in the crossfire or he will be left alone like there are two things that could come out of this is that the backlash may be so strong and the government has to interfere and it affects the video in some capacity or nothing happens i mean this continues and a lot of other entertainers start keying into these crypto schemes and getting their followers to buy coins in my opinion i think is either of these scenarios one of these two scenarios that is going to continue and from experience i'm kind of leaning towards the second <laughs> scenario where you know the video might even decide to come up with more coins because that's life-changing money right there even for a celebrity that's still a lot of money so he made in such a short time and one thing that <coughs> and one thing that makes me curious is those that actually key into these pump and dumps you know that they say oh the video has a new coin out and they say i want to buy this coin are they actually aware of how the system works are they just buying it to buy it i wonder if some people are not bothered by the fact that the price of the video's coin dropped and they're like 
proud to be owners of <laughs> Davido's coin. Crypto pump and dumps, they've happened so much that at a point I'm starting to wonder like do people do they enjoy this things like do they enjoy losing money are there people that are actually making money well obviously david is making money but are there people that are keen into this thing and making money as well will crypto be actually seen as a legitimate currency in my lifetime because at this point i thought maybe crypto will be using it for goods and services by now i mean um, nigeria tried to launch their own coin at some point the inara and that flopped <laughs> phenomenally and uh, is it actually going to happen because crypto and governments they are kind of at odds like as a general principle the government wants to maintain control of how currency is spent you know they want to be the ultimate habitats of their currency i mean crypto kind of randomizes everything and you can have like private individuals having more crypto than the government and stuff like that and they can't kind of see which transactions are going on because of how private the thing is and again crypto provides an avenue for crime that's just the truth like you can make a lot of underground payments through crypto and of course there's no government that wants that so david those cryptocurrency scam what do you think let me know in the comments below or are you one of those that was scammed by this his recent coin or are you a proud owner of the videos coin let us know in the comments thanks so much for watching my name is obi king do subscribe if you haven't already and like the content i'll see you guys in the next one